Hey guys, um, <clears throat> so I told you that I was going to do a binder review, so that's what I'm doing today, and I actually wore the binder, um, to school, um, nobody really said anything, although I'm kind of the quiet kid that nobody really knows who she is, or he, because apparently I passed pretty well, and people think I'm a guy or say, oh yeah, the one chick that looks like a dude. So, I guess I can pass either way. But, uh, yeah. Um, I got my binder probably within four days of ordering it, and I just, you know, didn't get around to making a review until now. But, um, my binder is a double compression from Underworks, and I'm actually pretty satisfied with it. Um, as you can see, I'm pretty flat um, from the side, like you can kind of tell. If you have like a really tight shirt, which um, that's why I would suggest um, wearing baggier shirts. Um, and if you are probably a C or above, um, i definitely say double compression, maybe even a B. Um, if you're an A, an A cup, um, I probably weren't, wouldn't worry about double compression, um, because you'll probably already be pretty flat with the binder without double compression. Um, and if you don't know what double compression is, it just means that there are, like, there are two layers. Here. I don't know if this is obscene or not, but there are, like, two layers to this. So you have this outer layer, and then you have another layer on the inside. Um, so, uh, if you're big -er, ish chested I would say get the double compression um, and also you're gonna need to get give yourself time to get used to it because um, the first time I wore it I could only wear it for maybe about an hour and a half because um, I wasn't used to you know like it really does it constricts your breathing um, noticeably it's not like the minute you put it on, you're just like, oh my god, I can't breathe, like, I need to get out of this. But you definitely can notice it, and I can definitely see why they advise you not to exercise while wearing a binder. Because uh, even going upstairs at school, I was, like, really, really out of breath. And I probably looked like a fat kid, because I'd walk up the stairs, and I'd be, like, huffing and puffing. And everybody's just like, okay, like... They're just stairs. I'm just like, no, I can't breathe. I am binded. And it also gives me massive cleave. Like, I wouldn't be able to wear a v-neck. See that? Yeah. I don't have cleave like that normally. My cleavage is not that noticeable, but it's like a lot. So, if you're wearing a binder, I would suggest not wearing v-neck tops if you're a little bit bigger chested. Um, I'd say if you're like a C cup, then, uh, don't wear v-necks, because the cleavage is going to show. Um, let's see, there's something else I was going to talk about. Um, oh yeah, uh, you, the first time you put it on at least, you're going to need somebody to help you put it on, because, um, and somebody that you're okay with seeing... Um, like seeing you in a sports bra or, you know, whatever. Because, uh, when I first tried to put it on, kind of got bunched up, like, I had my arms over my head, and then I got bunched up, like, at the armpits. And if somebody wasn't there, I really think that I would have lost my arms due to, uh, loss of blood flow. Like, it, it hurt a lot, so binders are pretty tricky to get on. Um, some people are lucky enough that they're 
skinny enough that they can just, you know, like, put it on, like, pants and slip their feet into it and just slip it up. But I have, like, a ghetto butt, so I can't do that. Um, so I just kind of, like, now I'm used to putting it on, so I can do it by myself, but you might need some help with it the first couple times. Uh, and, uh, I don't know, like, maybe the, um, the whole time you're wearing a binder you might need help, because it still is kind of tricky for me. But, um... I would definitely suggest Underworks. Um, it runs about 30 to 40 bucks. Um, I've heard from different people that um, Tea Kingdom, um, which is another like Japanese uh, company that makes binders, um, but I've heard that they're really, really, really expensive, and if you have more than a B cup, that it doesn't really bind really well. So, that's kind of problematic. And now my dog is barking, so I'm going to go, and I will talk to you guys later.